Hello and welcome. This is Chrisanne and I'm coming at you from Elemental Energies with Chrisanne. And today we are going to be doing the weekly psychic predictions of September 15th, 2024 to September 22nd of 2024. So we are going to be doing a quick deck review to let you know what this deck looks like, what I think of it. And then we're going to be using this deck to see what the week ahead has in store for us. So let's get started. We're using the Divine Animals Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. She has some wonderful decks that are out. This is out by uh, Rockpool Publishing. And there are, I believe, 44, yes, 44 cards and guidebook within this one. Let's leave that there for now. So you get the book. Uh, when I teach people, I tell people you don't need the book, but nonetheless, this is a beautiful book because it does have uh, full color in it. It goes through a lot of information. There's uh, th approximately three pages per card, which is a lot of information in this one. So if you're interested in the book, this one has a nice book. So this is what the backs of all the cards look like. Let's go through and look at each and every card. So I'm gonna read them to you. Butterfly, the soul. Cat, intuition. Deer, power. Red fox, strategy. Tiger, will. Jaguar, release. Polar bear is ancestors. I love the images on this deck. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. Wolverine is fierceness. These are a really substantial weight card. They're a nice weight card. You can see they're a good size. I have small hands, but these are a really good size. Seahorse, is all about equality. How cool is that? Lioness is about protection. Sacred Ibis is about learning. Armadillo is about groundedness. Isn't that a cool card? I'm trying to get the, <laughs> the shine off it. Raven is about news. Peregrine Falcon is about observation. The snake is about creation. Swan is about beauty. Wolf is about authenticity. Sea Otter is about transformation. Red Crowned Crane is about loyalty. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Hair is about cycles. Chameleon is all about change. Hyena, it's about fear. The owl is about wisdom. Snow leopard is the watcher. Peacock is prosperity. Sea turtle, stability. Tarantula is all about connection. Beaver is about work. Honeybee is about reciprocity. Dog is about companion. Isn't that a neat card? Bull is about sacrifice. Bison is about ritual. Horse is freedom. Jackal is the truth. Elephant is leadership. Goat is reliability. Lynx is about secrets. 
Dolphin, happiness. Meerkat, responsibility. Gorilla, peace. Shark is purpose. Rhinoceros is moderation. Fruit bat slash flying fox is about kindness. There you go. And the last one is orca. And that's all about songliness. Song. Venus. So let's look up. If we were going to use the book, let's use that last one. So 30 is Orca. There it is. Sungliness. You are walking in the bloodlines of your ancestors, but you are an individual who makes your own destiny. Seek better communication with your family, nourish yourself, and exercise extreme care. Share your skills with others. And then it goes on to the mythos and the animal itself, and then the magic. So the orca magic can be raised by singing your own song by the sea. It is the feminine magic that can be used to help heal breaches in family relationships. Orca magic is also one that asks for self-care and nourishment. If you are feeling weak in your physical body or mind, especially with issues of vitality or endurance, the power of the orca can be called upon as an ally. The symbology is women underwater with a fishtail, women with a spirit bird, women with orca, black curved dorsal fin. Status is endangered. So that's the information that the book has. So I just arbitrarily picked one. Now, what do I think of this deck? My personal opinion. I think the artwork and the imagery in this deck is incredible. I think it's stunning. I think it's absolutely visually gorgeous. I love this deck. Do I have a complaint? You darn tootin' I do. <laughs> Look at how teeny tiny that's written. <laughs> like, come on. Most people can't see that. That kindness. I, I would have rather the kindness been this size and then this one been bigger. Um, and I say that because I have just designed 11 Oracle decks myself. And I am super mindful of the size of the font because I want people to be able to read it. Uh, this is really difficult to read that, that, that sort of oracle meaning of what the animal is. I think Stacey DeMarco has some fantastic decks. Some of her decks, decks are in my top 10, actually. Um, I think her things are absolutely wonderful, but I unfortunately think she missed the mark when it came to this. Uh, this deck has been out for quite a while. Let me see the date. Um, 2019. So, I know she's come out with some other decks since then. This is my biggest complaint, but uh, everything else I absolutely love. If you are somebody that needs glasses, you need glasses when you're using this deck. There's no two ways about it. But that being said, I do like Divine Animals Oracle. Um, I own over, well over, 550 tarot and oracle decks in my personal collection. This is one of my uh, top. I, I only keep 150 now. I had to limit myself. I used to keep all of them at my desk. And now I, I've limited it to keeping 150 decks at my desk. And this is one that I do keep. I do use this. This is in my regular rotation. Um, so I like it, but it is one that if you need glasses, you need to use your glasses for this, which is a bummer because it is such an exceptional deck. That being said, let's see what this week has in store for us. So if you've watched my videos before, you know, I like to clear my decks with three taps or three taps. And then I give them a good shuffle. I 
have hand issues. Uh, my dexterity, my fine motor isn't really where I would like it to be. <laughs> so my shuffling is not like somebody else's shuffling. <laughs> my shuffling is off, but it doesn't matter because I don't pull from here and I don't pull from here. When I pull a card, I pull from here. So we're gonna pull a couple cards for this week. And we're gonna see what this week has in store. And we're gonna pull this one as our bonus. So for this week, September 15th through September 22nd of 2024, we're gonna be working on a soul level. We're gonna be using our voice. We're gonna be using that communication. What does our soul wanna sing? What does our soul wanna say? We are going to be not only spreading our wings, but vocally spreading our wings to communicate with what is in our soul so we can find those connections that maybe we had a long time ago that now we need to be our true self on when the authenticity so that <laughs> comes up that is telling us to be true to what our soul is wanting us to do recognize the connections that we've had both in this lifetime and in other lifetimes because we are always around people that are from our past lives and then the sort of one that wanted to give a little bit of advice is the reciprocity, the honeybee. So be careful what it is that you put out there because some of that has a karmic way of coming back to you. This could be the week of karma, which I frankly think is a really good thing, but karma can go both ways. Karma isn't always a negative word. Karma can be a positive word as well. What you use your voice on, recognize your connections, and be your true authentic self has a way of coming back to you. Be you. Speak from the heart, but speak up. This is the week of speaking up. That is the biggest thing I'm taking from these cards. If you don't speak up, you can't expect everybody to be a mind reader. This is the week of speaking up. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Chris Ann. Take care and be free.